Hello everybody, it is your boy Twin Plays here, back in our video. I hope you guys are doing amazing. So today in this video, we're gonna be talking about how to make game credits. Um, now, this is a great thing to do for your games um, or in group games. Um, I'd really recommend this. So if you want to watch this video, feel free to do this. Now, if you are not part of DevForm, i probably skip this video. If you if you want to become part of DevForm, I'll leave a link in the description. But um, I'm pretty sure only a few people are able to be in DevForm. You have to uh, make sure you want, you do you are active on DevForm and reply to things and everything like that. So, yeah. Um, so credits are really important to your game because you need to credit people and you need to know what's going on and people need want to know, you know, um, cause sometimes they'll want to come to you and be like, okay, who made this? And maybe they'll want to hire you or they'll want to see like, um, who made this? Maybe it's stolen, you know, that kind of stuff. So that's the point of credits. Now, if you're new to my channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications. I hope you guys are doing great today. I'm so happy we hit 15,000 subscribers. Um, I was actually just before this recording a video on, um, how to make a portfolio but i'm going to have to redo that because uh my dumbo forgot that roblox dev form closed that way of creating portfolios you have to go on job hub talent hub so it's kind of just not worth it so um <laughs> moving on to this now um get your game and if you do have dev form of course like i said i'm gonna leave these scripts uh these links in the description and you're able to just look at mine um, it's pretty simple. So, I recently made a uh, Fairy Emotes credits page and the uh, update log page. So, it's kind of like this. It looks really nice. Um, and you have a bunch of stuff. And, of course, Doors Hangout. So, um, to quickly just go into this, all you have to do is, um, if you want to follow along, you can really debate. Um, we're just going to do a little quick, like, simple understanding. So, if you do want a banner of your own, um, I'd recommend... Uh, downloading one of these images so you can do any images I'm just gonna stick with this basic one right here and we'll download this one um, and then if you do want your own divider just click download and it'll be super simple so uh, I actually like I said I was doing that so uh, we're gonna open up uh, let's do the divider first so this is Photopea uh, this is a online Photoshop website so pretty cool um, everyone told me about it so I was like all right so you're gonna open up that divider you're going to go to gradient overlay and effects down here in the corner and you are going to uh, add a gradient. Now I sticked with blue, but all you got to do is click it, double click here and you could get like a color you like. Um, I'm going to do with blue because that's going to be the theme of this and we're going to hit OK. Now we have that. We're going to just export as JPEG and then you're going to click this right here. So I already saved mine, so we're all good. Um, now we're going to open up another one. So we're going to go here. Drop this one again, and here we go. We're going to go to Effects, Gradient Overlay, and it should be already saved when you pick out that Gradient Overlay, so click OK. We're going to go to New Layer, Text, and we're going to put this, and we're going to say uh, Credits, um, like that. Pretty simple. Now, if you want to add a background to your choice, you can add like a blur and everything. Um, I don't know if, let's see, maybe I do have one I can place for you guys as for fun. Um, let's see here. You know what? Let's just do it for fun. So, if you do make this bigger, okay, like this. Okay, let's go like right here. And then you can go filter, blur, box blur. Gaussian blur is kind of nice, actually, so let's do that instead. Uh, I don't like the box blur. Let's do Gaussian blur like that. And then we're going to put this below. These are layers. And we can do that. Now, you could also go like this. Um, and then what you could do is opacity and turn this down like right there and perfect that looks pretty nice so credits you're gonna open this up um now to edit the text sorry guys i kind of did this already in the last video just hold Control a and go right here and you're able to change all of the text and you can change it to any text you want so that's super nice i chose for doka one um but you guys choose what you like then you're going to effects go to drop shadow add a drop shadow um i kind of like it when it points down like this um you really can do anything like this is nice um, it's nice to go like this. I don't really like to have it when it's up. I think it's kind of stupid. Um, down's the best, but I'm going to have it go to the side right there. There's strokes, there's bevel. Um, so I recommend just, uh, keeping it with the drop shadow. I don't think I need anything else because I'm not planning anything else. Oh, that's really cool. They have all these cool little things. That's awesome. I didn't think they'd have that. So, uh, we don't need that. Um, there's also gradient overlay if you want to, uh, you know what? That actually looks pretty cool. Well sick um let's see opacity let's turn this down maybe 
maybe uh let's see here kind of like this kind of like that no that actually looks sick all right we're gonna do that so this is the crease please donate credit so you're just gonna click this we're gonna click export as we're gonna go to jpeg and make sure it's 100 and credits and save now we're good to just uh do this so um, like I said, if you are not in the Def Warp program, you're going to want to uh, make sure you're in that before doing this. So, oh, so, okay, it looks like you could do this in the bulletin board. All right, maybe I'm freaking out for no reasons. All right, so, um, basically, what you're going to do is you're going to click New Topic, um, and you're going to place this up here, and we're not going to need to worry about all this stuff. Make sure to read it, though. Um, and we're going to say, uh, let's just do, please, let's do this. Yeah, please donate uh, credits like this. Then you're going to just leave this blank, make sure there's nothing in there. And there you go. So grabbing your thing, just put it right here already. And there you go. And then let's just go look at what I did. So we did hello there. So let's do a hello there. And we are going to do one. Oh, no. There we go. So you just do one dash above. That's going to make it big. That you're going to just talk about. All oh, right, uh, this is the credits for. Please uh, donate. Please donate. Made by. Um, then you could say group and um, grab this right here, and you'll basically insert a link. So go right here, grab your link, and then just put. I don't know. I'll just do. You know, might as well just HD admin. So group. Um, this was made by this and then you can do this now um you're gonna want to add the divider so after adding the divider so i think let's see which is this the pink one yeah we don't want the pink one i don't remember which one it was maybe oh it was this one oops all right so add that divider once you get the divider then you can kind of talk about what you did so you could say um uh, i mean you could talk about the team so our team um, and then I think what I did was, uh, let's see here. So hashtag, there you go. Um, our team, and then you can do a bulleted list and, um, do a lot of stuff. So let's actually just, all right, well, this kind of talks about it. So at, and then twin plays dev, and then you could do this. So I, let's see how I did this again. So, uh, scripter, and then you could just do it one more time. So at, and then we'll say, someone uh founder like this then you're gonna highlight it and click this button right here and boom it's gonna do that so then you can do um other stuff so i really recommend just looking at all of these so we're gonna say miscellaneous credits and um we're just gonna do the same thing again so uh building and then da 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 uh model uh you know you can just bullshit again this all right so like that Bada beam, bada boom, and you can do all of this. Now, um, like I said, you want to copy this again. So our team, um, oops, that's not what I wanted. Oh yeah, like that. There you go. And then miscellaneous, like that. And then of course you can add contributions and all this stuff. So it is pretty easy. So contributions, um, we'll go one more. Blah, 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 blah. You know, you could just do this and go like that. And then this is bolded. So you could just click the bold right here. So you kind of just want to talk about your team, some other credits and all that kind of stuff. Um, and you really just want to make it clean and simple for people to read. Um, now, I did do this little like pretty important notice stuff. Guys, this is actually super easy to make. I just showed you already. Um, so this right here, though, if you want to get a drop down, which I'll talk about in the next video on the uh, portfolio. Um, you will basically uh, do hidden text. So you could hide details right here. There's a spoiler. Um, there's a lot of stuff. So you could do, so please read. And then you will go here, hide details. Oh, well, all right. And then please read. And then in here, so if I were to do this and put it literally in here, then if I open it, it's going to do everything again. So that's kind of an example of what you can do so that's literally it for the credits um i recommend keeping it simple this is for fair emotes so it's pretty cool and this one's for Dor doris hangout if you want to look more at these these will all be in the description um but you want to include all of your team uh all the credits like to like if you want to put me for your game you can put that here 
Um, and then, of course, you're going to go to your game, and you are going to put it in the description of the game. So if I go to my Roblox and I go to Dora's Hangout, as you can tell, uh, it already has it. So we'll go back to Dora's Hangout, and we will see that it has it down here in the game credits. So when people open it up, um, they will be able to see who made the game. Now, um, if you do want to make a update page, I recommend just looking at this and clicking update. Like you can click on the update page and just see how we did it. Uh, pretty cool. And I'm still, you're still working on this, but um, yeah. So that's about it. It's basically like simple stuff. Um, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, please feel free to subscribe, comment, like, and share. That's about it. And then you're just gonna hit create topic, and it'll make it for you. Um, a lot of people on the dev forum already know how to do this. And um, if you're new though, feel free to watch it. Uh, feel free to just um. Go check out like how to get the dev form and the descriptions and all the links. Uh, we'll talk about it for you. So, um, yeah, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like I said, feel free to subscribe, like, subscribe, and share. And I will see you guys all in the next one. Bye-bye. Uh,